In this video, we take a look at how to set up Amazon Pay on your WooCommerce store. Here we make use of the Alex Amazon Pay WooCommerce Payment Gateway plugin which will easily help us to set up a secured Amazon Payment Gateway option. Amazon Pay is one of the most convenient, and the trusted way used for payments. From large enterprises to the newest startups, Amazon Pay can help you grow customer relationships and build your business. With Amazon Payment Gateway, your customers can check out on your website with payment and shipping information, already stored in their Amazon account. When you add the Amazon Payment method, anyone who has an Amazon account is ready to buy on your site. Let us take a quick look at how you can set up the plugin and use it. Once the plugin is installed, then you can go to the settings page of the plugin. Or you can access the same in WooCommerce, Payments, and then choose to manage option in Amazon Pay. The first thing you need is the license to enable the plugin. To obtain the same, you can go to my accounts and get it from lextensions.com then in the settings, you can enable the Amazon Payment Gateway option. If you want to capture the payments, then enable Amazon Payment Overview. To use the Amazon Payment Gateway service, you should have an Amazon account. You can open a live account, or a sandbox account, free of cost. You can obtain the credentials for sandbox or the live mode and then enter the same here. To obtain the API credentials click here. Don't forget to enter the merchant ID, access keys, and the secret key. You also need to provide the payment region, Amazon Client ID, and the client secret, this appears when you are enabling the HTTPS as the SSL mode of your store, which is highly recommended. Once these settings are done, you can see the Amazon Payment Gateway, visible on the cart page above the Place Order button. Click on the Amazon Pay button to proceed with payment. A new window will open where your customers need to log in to their Amazon account. Once customers have logged into their account, they can make the payment. Once the payment is done, they are directed to the review page of the order. And then the customer can check out and make the purchase. You can notice that once the Amazon payment login is created, the address is automatically fetched to the checkout address details, which is the process for customers. Now you can pay and place the order. Once done you receive the order ID. In the WooCommerce dashboard, orders page, you can see the order here you can either capture the full or partial amount. You can see the payments done on the Amazon Overview page. Here you can see the captured, uncaptured, and the refund amounts, within a specific date range. Also, you can see the graphical report on the side. The table below also shows the transaction details, which help you track. Now let us take a detailed look at the settings in the Amazon Payment Gateway plugin. Upon installing the plugin, you can see the Amazon Payment Gateway settings in the payment options in the WooCommerce settings. Here you can go to the settings page to customize using the manage option. Go to general settings here, Amazon Payment Gateway, tick this checkbox to enable Amazon Payment Gateway. Amazon Payment Overview, tick this checkbox to enable Amazon Payment Overview. On this page, you can capture or refund the payment in a click. The refund can be partial or full as per requirement. You can also see all the order, transaction details. This page also shows you a graphical representation of an overview of the Amazon payment for a selected date range. You can also see captured, uncaptured, and refunded amounts. Title, enter a custom payment title in this text box option. This title will be visible on the checkout page under the payment modes. Regular description, specify the required description in this text box. Customers can see this description on the checkout page under the Amazon payment title. SSL mode of your store, SSL, secure socket layer, is used to encrypt communications between the browser and the server, thus protecting sensitive data being transferred from your customer system. You will recognize SSL mode by seeing the familiar HTTPS colon slash slash in the URL of your browser's address bar. This should always also be accompanied by a secure padlock symbol in your browser, often in the status bar at the bottom of the browser window, or the address bar. The available options are as given below, HTTPS, with secure mode, you can customize the size, color, and text of the payment button as well as store language. You need to generate login with app client ID and seller portal. This can be done from the Amazon app, wherein you need to place the URL of the website. HTTP, with this option, the above customization cannot be done. Next are the important settings in the plugin. The Amazon Payment Credentials. Environment, select the required API mode for the payment gateway. 
The available options are, Sandbox Mode and Live Mode. The Sandbox Mode is used to do test purchasing by using Amazon API. There is no real money transaction involved in this mode. Remember, this mode is used only for development purpose and customers should not have access to this mode. And Live Mode is used for the actual purchase. Merchant ID, enter the Merchant ID provided by Amazon. Access Keys, enter your access key provided by Amazon, in this field. Secret Keys, enter the secret key provided by Amazon. Choose the Amazon Payment Region here from the list. When you enable the SSL mode as HTTPS, then you get the Amazon Client ID and Amazon Client Secret to be filled. Amazon Client ID and Amazon Client Secret, enter respective Client ID and Client Secret in these text fields. Refer to the link in the description for more details on how to obtain the payment credentials from Amazon. Next, we need to set the Pay with Amazon abilities. Pay with Amazon for Cart Page, tick this checkbox to allow customers to directly check out from Cart Page using Amazon Payment option. This option will add an Amazon Pay button on the Cart Page. Pay with Amazon for Checkout Page. This option will add an Amazon Pay button on the Checkout Page, using which customers can make their payment. Payment Action, in this setting, you can select how the payments should be captured. Available options are, Capture, allows the shop owner to get paid as soon as the order is placed. Authorize, with this option, the shop owner needs to authorize charges, and then capture the payment. To capture payments, the shop owner needs to navigate to the individual order or Amazon overview page. Once the order is placed, you can go to the individual order in the dashboard, and in the Amazon payment actions, you can choose to capture the payment fully or partially. Choose Partial Capture and enter the amount. You can click on Capture and then Capture it. You can see the updates done on the order, in the order notes for reference. You can also choose for a refund, here both full and partial. The maximum amount that you can refund to a buyer is 15% more than the previously charged amount captured, or a maximum of $75 more than the previously charged amount, whichever is smaller. You can refund and capture from the Amazon Payment Overview page also. Read more about how to capture and refund from the links provided in the description. Once these settings are done, we need to work on the look and feel of the Amazon Pay on your page. Here you can customize the Amazon Pay button size, text, color, and position on the cart and checkout pages. In addition to this, you can set the custom button description and seller policy. Use Amazon Address Widget, you can directly fetch billing and shipping address from your Amazon account. These addresses will be displayed as a widget on the checkout page, replacing the default WooCommerce billing and shipping address fields. Here are the available options, billing and shipping address, billing address, shipping address. And none to use default WooCommerce billing and shipping address fields, here you can also choose the button size, color, and the text to display on it. You can choose the language too. Amazon language, tick this checkbox to set your store language as Amazon payment language. Custom Language, untick the above store locale option to set custom language. Select the desired language from the available choices here. Next is the position of the button in the cart. You can choose any form here. When you choose the position above the cart, you can see the Amazon Pay button appear above the cart like this. The next option is the position of the button on the checkout page. You can choose any form here. When you choose the position above the cart, you can see the Amazon Pay button appear above the cart like this. Amazon Display Banners, banners on your homepage and throughout the shopping experience drive awareness of the benefits of completing a purchase using Amazon Payment. The available options for the banner are as given here. You can either choose no banner or any of these. Pay with Amazon Description, enter custom text which will be visible during the Amazon Payment. Seller Policy, enter a description of your seller policy which will be visible on the order review page. Next, if you want to troubleshoot the errors, then you can choose to enable logging in the developer settings. Once these settings are enabled, you can see the changes you made in the cart and checkout page. This is how you can quickly set up Amazon Payment Gateways on your WooCommerce store. Thank you for watching. Go subscribe to our YouTube channel and social media channels.